Hey folks, Maya Knife here. Thanks for joining me again for uh, my attempts at Kerbal Space Program. So last time we did pretty well. Uh, I was fiddling around with the solid rocket boosters. This time I want to go for orbit. So what I'm thinking is th the two solid boosters that I used before, they were good enough to get me up plenty high for orbit but then I need to circularize that orbit. So that means I need some sort of control. So I do have the reaction wheels. They're a little sluggish when there's anything attached to the capsule, but I can probably tilt it over a bit. But we have, uh, what do we have? We have one of these engines as thrust vectoring. Which one is it? This one here. So that should give me even more ability to turn over. Now also, since I want to, it would be nice to return the crew back home again. I'm also going to need to be able to uh, to turn the ship around. Yeah, I don't have any... Well, I guess I can try and do it with reaction wheels, but we'll see. Uh, worry about that once he's up there. So, I think that means we need a liquid fuel tank. Let's start with that. And we'll put this engine on it. Okay, so that's our orbital module. Um, let's put uh, this thing on before I forget. Oh, yeah. Gonna want to separate that out. Uh, that's here, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right, we got one of those. Okay, so now that's our orbit. That's going to be our orbital module. Then, now they're pushing a lot more weight, but still, I have confidence in these guys. So let's put two of these on here again. Staged, of course. I wish this. I don't understand why this one. See how when we put the decoupler on this one, it it kind of filled in. This one doesn't. That always bothers me. It's, it's not neat. It's not tidy. It's just... Ugh. Okay, now one problem with this is it may be pretty unsteady on the launch pad, but we'll see. So, we've got this first guy goes off. Then we want to decouple. And set off that guy at the same time. Then there's that decoupler there. Yeah, I want to leave the firing of this guy independent of the decoupling here, so I'll leave that. Um, and that decoupler up there, and finally parachute. So that all looks good. Let's take her out on the pad and see if it doesn't fall over. And there's our bump. So let's just zoom in a bit here. Doesn't really look to be wobbling or anything. Oh, what the hell? Bill, let's see if you survive this one. All right, it's going up. An awful lot slower than last time, but that's not too surprising. Speed up a bit once we've dumped this stage. Uh, the overheating is well within parameters. Well, it's nominal. It's not. It's within nominal range. Yeah, I can sound like a real rocket scientist here. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, if I'm going to go into orbit, that is the way I want to lean. Just make sure. Yeah, okay. All right. Now we're going to climb a bit faster. fairly high before I start trying to turn. Actually, I guess it'll probably be after the... after we've uh, discarded this booster, because I don't think... I think this runs out while we're still pretty low. Yeah, it's about to go now. Oh, 
Oh, I have to... <laughs> I forgot, I forgot this is... This has to be throttled. And I gotta keep an eye on the fuel because I need enough fuel to deorbit. No, no. Oh, hit, damn it, I hit the... Ah, oh, no, no. Oh, this is all going so badly. I keep hitting that frickin' space bar when I don't want to. Alright, let's, uh... Let's kill the engine here. Oh, I guess because we separated out, we don't have any control over it anymore. Oh, good God. Yeah, this has not gone well. <sighs> I keep hitting that space bar when I'm trying to press other keys. Oh, well. Bill, you're not gonna, um, I mean, I mean, we can try and take a crew report, but. Yeah, it's zero science. <laughs> Uh, this is not going well. Alright, well, let's just warp, warp you into the ground. I didn't mean that quite the way it sounded, Bill. Yeah, there goes the uh, booster. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a nice mountain in the distance there. Uh, we don't need this guy now. <laughs> yeah, maybe off camera I should... Uh, Maybe off camera I should practice the uh, spaceship controls a bit more. Since that was the problem there, is it started to tilt more than I wanted and I was trying to correct, but I don't really know what the hell I'm doing when I'm trying to trying to operate the spaceship. Oh, watery landing. I think this is our first water landing, isn't it? I wonder if I can get some science from an EVA. Ha ha ha. Yeah, an ocean EVA. Come on, that's got to be worth something. Can't take a soil sample, but they should let me take a water sample. Yeah. Let me speed this one up a little bit. Since we know that it's going to be basically zero. There we go. Actually, sea level isn't the on um, sea level isn't the same height all over the planet either. I mean, not just due to tides. I was reading something about that that there's all kinds of factors, including the local uh, local gravity. Okay, let's get a new crew report. Yeah. Oh, now we get some science. That's good. Ha. Um, there's nothing else we can do here, right? Nope. Bill, let's EVA. Um, take a surface sample. Excellent. Take an EVA report. Awesome. And now can you... Okay, how do we... Well, actually, yeah. yeah. One one of my viewers is saying that. Oh, I meant to look, meant to look at his name. Oh well, I'll uh, try and throw it in as an overlay. One of the viewers is telling me that yeah, my uh, intuition was correct, and that recovering, doing a recover vessel when the astronaut's on EVA just recovers the astronaut. So we will recover the astronaut. Okay, because he had some science on him. And now if I come to here, the craft should still be out there. Yeah. Oh, I never gave it a name. Let's recover the craft. Well, we got a bit more science out of that. Didn't get into orbit. Didn't even get close to orbit, actually. Um, hmm. How are we doing here? Well, we do have enough science now to buy some stuff here. I'm tempted by this, because then I can just get more science off the junior. 
And that'll give me batteries. Reaction will give me more control, but more control isn't going to help me if I don't know how to use it. Uh, decoupler. And more. I haven't even started using... Well, oh, actually, we did finally start using the uh, some salt fuel. But I'm going to buy this guy. Survive or whatever this is called. Science tech. Science tech. That's what I want. Holy crap. A whole bunch of stuff that leads into me. Hmm. Landing. Space exploration. Electrics. Oh, we get more batteries. Oh, huh, cool. Okay. I think then what we'll do... Yeah, let's... Um, we'll uh, <clears throat> kind of optimistically call this guy Orbital 1 and save him out. But right now, let's... Oh, I didn't save the Goo Explorer Duo? I wonder if that's the autosaved ship. No, that's just the one I'm currently working on. Oh, I forgot to save out the Duo. Oh well. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is take this off here. And science. We want to attach the Science Junior. Put that back on. Move him up a bit. We don't need goo this time. So we can at least get rid of that weight and drag. And, whoops. Oh no, I need another decoupler. Put that guy in here. What do you mean I can put him anywhere? Okay, let's try putting him there and see what happens. So now if I attach this guy... Uh, that bothers me. <laughs> we know this works, we'll stick with this. Okay. So, uh, go explore. This is the Duo Lab. Save them. All right, let's go. Oh, I better make sure I've got everything right here. Right, this guy should go go off with him. Right, that's everything. Now let's go launch it. So this won't get us to orbit, alas, but it should get us a uh, some more science, I hope. And before we start off, just what are Observe the Materials Bay. Okay. All right. Off we go. So we won't get as high as before. Probably won't even get into space. Okay. Yeah, we're still probably still get up fairly high. Okay, let's get rid of that guy. And now let's see how high are we actually gonna get. Whoops. A hundred thousand? Even higher than... Oh, because we didn't have the... Oh, I guess that's because the... Uh, 
the goo. I guess the goo containers were really holding us back. Wow. Woohoo! Well, Bill, you're going into space again. Sorry, let's do a little bit of practice control here. Okay. Yeah, we want to be pointed up. So that means come around to here. Um This is where I get screwed up. Yeah. I know how to tilt up. But I don't know how to tilt down. No, that works. Okay. There we go. We're mostly up there. Oh, uh, well, close enough. Yeah, I really have to learn to use this uh, the sphere instead of trying to do it by the uh, by looking at the capsule. Uh, we're almost up there. And yeah, we're pretty much are there. Okay. So now let's observe that materials bay. Oh, that's a whole lot of science. Now this is the thing I don't understand. If I say reset the materials bay, does that lose me? The science? Oh, well, I guess I'll find out on the way down. Yeah, see, it doesn't say... It doesn't give me the option to review my data. Oh, I should get a crew report. Uh, no new science. Oh, so resetting does... Okay. Resetting does toss your science away. Okay, so I don't want to reset. So are those doors going to stay open on as we return? That'll be a problem. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's possible the whole thing could burn off on the way down. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get warped through the uh, through the fiery part of reentry. Oh, yeah, I didn't look to see where we're coming down. Ah, it'll be a surprise. Looks like water. Okay, we're through that. Let's pop the chute. We didn't lose the Science Junior. That's awesome. And we are definitely coming down water, so we're probably not going to get any new science. I don't know if there's different... I know, I know there's different types of, you know, like biomes or environments on the land and you can get science different science for each one but I don't know if that's the case with uh, with the ocean or not uh, we don't need this anymore let's get rid of it but I guess I'm about to find out oh we can go faster than that As we come in for a watery landing, I guess we just don't want to smack any of those rocks, eh? Bill, looks like you're going to survive another one. You are, are our premier astronaut. Yeah, you should. You deserve to be all happy and excited about it. Okay, let's get a crew report. Oh, we actually get some science out of it. That's not bad. You get to EVA again, Bill. And before you tell me that your spacesuit 
isn't necessary. Oh, Jesus, we are. We're getting science for that. Cool. EVA report. Still getting science for that. Man. Let's work that, eh? And let's recover you. Yeah, got some decent science out of that. Come here and recover your vessel now. That's the one. Oh, yeah, look at that science. Is 56 science enough to get us anything new? I don't think so. Let's find out. Let's just see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's right. These guys are still all 45s. Hmm. Well, if I want to get into orbit... So one of these that gave me batteries, or do we already have the batteries? Oh, this guy gave me batteries. Oh, so I actually do have batteries. Okay. Um, in that case, since the reaction wheel uses power... Yeah, I think what I'll do... These guys all cost too much, right? Yeah, they're all 90. Okay. I think I will go with flight control, and off-camera I'm going to practice up. <clears throat> my uh, controlling of the craft to uh, see if I can, can't can do a better job of it. Yeah, so that needs general construction. Wait a minute. What's the difference between these? We have winglet... And a reaction wheel. Oh, I see the torques are different. 20, 20, and 20. Mass 0.3, drag 0.2. 20, 20, 20, mass 0.5, drag 0.2. 18 per minute on the electricity for this one. Why would you ever use the other one? Okay, well, anyway. I'll, uh, yeah, I don't understand why you would ever use this one. It's basically got the same specs as the other one, but it's heavier. Anyway, all right, well, that should be enough for this episode, probably more than enough. I'll have to figure out a few places to trim some stuff out to get it down. And we did not get into orbit. I was kind of hoping hoping we would, but uh, I, like I say, I need to learn how to control the craft better if, we, if we're going to do that. So see you back in the next episode when hopefully my flying skills will be a little bit better than they are now. Thanks for joining me. Bye.